Greetings, thanks for attending our tutorial on our music escape room lesson. Uh, this is Mrs. Alls, and I'm your instructor for middle school vocal techniques. And I'm going to show you this assignment in two, uh, a two-piece tutorial. This is part one, and I'm going to give you an overview of your assignment in this part one. Today, you are going to be creating a music escape room, actually it'll take you more than a day, where you're going to create a way through and navigate with different music symbols. But first you have to know how to create them and what they are. I'm going to take you through this entire slideshow, but first I want to show you how you get to it. In your Schoology course for music, your music escape room is here on Tuesday's lesson. When I click here, it's going to ask me to copy the document. It's going to force me to. And I have to so that I'm working on my own. So when you do this, you won't be making mistakes or changing or editing anybody else's document except yours. You're going to make a copy of it. And then the first thing you want to do is rename it. Instead of copy of, you want to title it with your first name. So I might say, this belongs to the Susie Piano, and it's called Together Again, Music Escape Room. The next thing I want to do is I want to go over here and I want to share it with my teacher. And so I want to click here, and I'm going to say to share it with... It already is mine. So I'm going to say I want to share it with my dear friend and music teacher, Allie Satry, Mrs. Satry. So when I click on here, she is going to become an editor also, and she would be able to make changes to my work. And the only reason I want to share it with her right now is because she um, is my teacher. So you would be sharing it with me. Notify people is checked, so she'll get an email that says, hey, Molly Alts or Susie Piano Sherry, shared their file with you. And then you can say maybe something like, I'm not done yet. Have a great day. Or whatever you want to say. Or you can just leave it blank. And then when I send it, she is going to immediately get a notification. I'm not going to do that because uh, she doesn't need this and it would confuse her. But that's how I'm going to be able to see your work. You don't have to submit it through Schoology or anything. It's just going to be there. So I'm going to teach you one other Google trick before I take you through the assignment. That Google trick is that when you're in here, you're going to want to notice where it says Slideshow. Slideshow is a Google tool that's going to allow you to toggle back and forth between a full screen and a working screen. When I click on Slideshow, I get this view so that I can see like I was presenting something. When I am in the working view, I can see the slides in my presentation over here and make changes to them. So this is to work and this is to present. It's like a preview of it. So here we are. I'm going to go into present mode and show you this assignment. Page two says, together again, we're hoping at the end of our escape room, we can meet up. We have listening examples, both the full performance and the accompaniment, which is without singers. And I'm going to put on the full performance. We have never heard this before, so it will be very helpful. When I advance to the next slide, I follow along.
As I follow through that with the words and the slides, it sounds pretty easy, like it's easy to follow along. You might want to do that a few times because it's going to get more challenging. I have to insert a very important piece of information related to you doing this assignment with Google. A Google trick is you need to have Google Slides app downloaded from self-service and do your work in that app rather than web-based. All right, moving along. This is the more challenging part of reading the music. Musicians actually don't read music just with the lyrics alone. We have music symbols and notation that teach us how to play or, or where to play or sing in the music and gives us many different navigation tools so that we can find our way around. This is going to be a quite confusing roadmap to the, compared to what we just did with the lyrics. And I have it labeled with different yellow boxes. I'll call out those boxes so you can have an idea or it can help you follow along with the music. One. Two. Four, five, two, three, four, Four, five, two, three, four, seven, You might have to do that a few times until you are able to follow it along. But the next part is going to really help you with that. And this is where the escape room comes in. I'm going to begin this explanation on part two of my tutorial. So tune in to part two to learn more.